Hello there, now we will set scene states. So let's start off by opening the panels we need in this tutorial. Please open the particular exercise file for this video. Okay. Now we can start with the rooftop. Drag the following materials if you want. Keep in mind we will be setting the states in the same time of which we are applying materials. Steps are going to be as the following. First, drag the material. Second, select all objects falling under that material. Third, set the scene states. There are two buttons here, this one is for selected parts only. Think of it more like a part state. A part of the scene will be recorded only, on the other hand. This button is for the entire scene, in other words, all objects will be recorded. Anyways, the first one is what we will use in this video. Make sure you uncheck all the boxes except the materials box. We only want the texture to change in this section. That's it, we got our first scene state. Now let's go through the rest of the materials, so we'll memorize it better. Now let's do it to the walls as well. Here we want to capture the existing material first. Do you realize the icon that's out of the league? This occurs when any change is done to the material to highlight that it's not the default material. But if you decide to take it in, just hit regenerate. Now we will deal with the fins and doors. I will start by tweaking the default material the model came with a little, so it won't look so dark. Alright, that's better. Now as we did before this time it's going to be on positions rather on materials. The steps are going to be the following. First, select the object or objects, quick hide and show just to make sure no pieces were left behind, and run a quick test on the states. 
Second, set scene state number one. We must uncheck the material box and check the transformation box instead. Third, move rotate or scale the objects. Four, set scene state number two. Honestly you can keep on going but we will only implement two in this tutorial. Now for the door the same thing. Oops, I think I just left a door knob, let's get that fixed. I'll just grab the knob as it is and drop it in the door assembly then relocate the pivot to the edge once more. Now let's get done with the scene states of this door. Make sure the transformation box is checked, if you happen to forget checking or unchecking, or simply changed your mind on something. You can simply select the scene state and uncheck or check the boxes. Composer automatically records everything, whether they were checked or not while setting the states. Okay, just before we go to the next video let's just keep things a little neat here. I will rename the scene states just so I can make things easy later on. You go ahead and practice on the rest of this model, I'll leave you to that. On the next video we will add the action so those scene states will come to life. Thanks for watching and see you then.